The world today is getting riskier. I think the biggest risk that we are facing as, uh, as mankind today uh, is um, climate risk. So we are really faced with something huge, which is something that is global with no way to monitor it, to measure it, to enforce uh, on a global basis. And this is where Kairos comes. What we do is we leverage satellite imagery to know what's happening on the big energy asset so that we can measure emission and then attribute this emission to a country, to an asset, to a company. So this will give the world, without a global uh, regulation, the means to understand emission and really see where they are coming from, attribute them, which will be the first step before reducing them. What we think is that you don't need to monitor the full, full globe. What you have to do is you have to monitor on the asset that matters. So the problem we want to tackle is extremely complex, unless it would have been solved already. And we are going to do it, and we can do it today, only because we have a very strong relationship with the best uh, scientific institution in the world. We have a very strong relationship with the CMLA in France. The CMLA is probably the largest uh, civilian team in satellite imagery treatment. We have a very strong relationship with uh, institutions like uh, LSCI, the Laboratoire des Sciences du Climat et de l'Environnement. So they are the top scientists in France around the emission, plume inversion, understanding methane and other pollutants. We have also a you know, relationship with other institutions like uh, UC Berkeley, Columbia, ETH around this, uh, this subject. And finally, we have a very strong relationship in Japan with uh, and ICT. What is very interesting is that uh, we've identified almost 20,000 abnormal concentration of uh, methane last year in 2019. So it's absolutely huge. The good news is that uh, this gives us the way, the means to reduce very quickly methane emission because we know now where they are, we know where they come from, so it's going to be very easy to reduce methane emission thanks to this technology. Climate change is a phenomenal challenge for all of us. We need to work together but I really believe that science will solve it.